Nice. Oh, wow. What? Yeah, this is where we're all right. No way. Yeah, man. Look at that. The trail's right there. That's crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Quebec City visiting, as I mentioned, in one of the previous episodes. And I was gonna check out the food scene, which I did, and I haven't been disappointed. A ton of great restaurants out there, but there is one more stop I needed to do as part of my partnership with Quebec City Mountain Bike, which is Valley Bras du Nord. I went yesterday and I rode with some of the trail builders, Godzilla, The Legend, and some more track. That was awesome, enjoy the video. First track of the day, the famous Godzilla. Austin and his company, Love Bike Park, built it. It's an amazing jump track. It's 3.2 kilometers, over 300 meters of elevation, and it's got a ton of flow, some hips, some step up, step down, rollers, some gaps, you name it. This is how a jump trail should be. Let's shred. Let's go. Obviously, Austin is an amazing rider and that's how we can build this type of truck. Yeah, dude. Nice. It flows so well. Yeah. And what I love about that truck is that we start small and flowy yep. and, and then we get into the big stuff. Yeah. A little bigger as she goes. Second part of the Godzilla. That was awesome. Woo. You went huge on that tip. Thanks. And this is a warm up for the one yeah. after. They are even bigger. Yeah, big time. Yeah, it's uh, just gradual. It keeps you warm, it gets you ready all the way down. How it should be. Yeah. Part number three. Good try to uh, work on your no under. And your whips. Yo, that's a big triple. Oh, that was large. Thank <laughs> you. 
one that was cool so what truck is that this will be the bottom of the new trail okay no official name yet i don't think and that's where brett reader walked on his new video yep so i built this oh, well i was building the blue trail and then brett hit me up and wanted to do a project and I thought what I was working on would be perfect for it. So we got the go ahead and then I built the trail for Brett. So with bigger jumps, obviously. Yeah, bigger jumps, crazy stuff, big gaps. Um, and now I'm turning it into a blue for the public. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a good way for like pro riders to help develop like a trail at their level with their name. Yep. So they can really push the sport. But then the build is not wasted because you just make it easier for everybody to enjoy exactly that's a, that's a good way to do it and it'll ride i think it'll ride super similar lots of the features i tried to keep the same feel for them so you can watch the video and then ride the trail and you can judge for yourself and you can imagine yourself doing those double tail whips and <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly okay first part the jumps are definitely gonna get bigger now Yo! Yo! That's cool though. Maybe someone can quad that. Sick, dude. So fun. You went huge. <laughs> Definitely the dirt jump uh, pop. Nice. Yeah, I got the pop if I got anything. Me, I've got more that uh, racer style, so yeah. I'm better at staying low. For sure. But it's really fun on a track like this because you can do both. Yeah. You can either pop, stay low, you can race it. Actually, Crankworks Summer Series adds the uh, RDH here. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So. Good yeah. tread for everything. People were scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, and it's like, you know, every time you ride the trail, you find something new. Yeah, oh, there's so many possible lines. On the upper part, I did roller, double, double, double. Yeah. And you did double, double, roller. Right. So, it's cool. Yeah. I want it, like, you come all this way, and I want it to be, you know, you find something new and whatever. Okay, last section of Godzilla. Nice. I love jumping my bike. <laughs> that was a terrible no no on my end. And that's it for Godzilla. We're gonna grab a quick lunch break and then we're gonna check out Legend, another classic. Okay, I'm gonna follow Lawrence on that new blue trail. It's about to open.
Yo! <laughs> That's sick. Oh. Oh. Some of the berms kind of uh That's so good. <laughs> you bet. Dude. Oh, that's hectic. <laughs> this is oh, sick. Man. Get it. Part number 2. This truck is sick. Sick. <laughs> the slalom. Wow. The dual slalom. So what do we have here? We have the dual slalom. This was the perfect spot to put it. It was kind of at the top of this little ridge. I had drainage on both sides. Uh, it just seemed totally right and VBN was down for it. So I slapped it in there and here we are. We're going to drop in on it. Sounds good. Okay. Well, let's ride. Here we go, do you have Whoa! <laughs> nice! That was sick! That worked out really well. Bus lines are like pretty similar speed too. Oh nice. I kind of missed that berm after that. Ah, it was difficult. Nice one. Yeah, that was fun. So obviously this part needs a wreck. Yo. Sweet. Fucking sick. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Sorry for the profanity. That's okay. <laughs> so did you guys hit that last triple? No. Mm. No, I saw you do it though. It's nice. <laughs> Damn, that's gonna be sick. The third track I'm gonna show you today is called La Legend. It's one of the mythical track here at Valley Bridge Nord. It is completely different from the stuff we've seen in the other valley, which was a lot more bike park, all machine built. This is very natural, very enjoyable type, and I'm back riding with Sandy. We did the video together at Empire 47. That was good fun. So we're back at it. Let's do it. Go. Okay. So as you can see, no machine was here. It's just hand built. Might get pretty slippery, so. Onto a front line here. Wow, that was a nasty rock. Oof, it's a little bit wet today. Nice. Oh, that's a double drop you told me about. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, better to check it than uh, going blind because I most likely would have gone a little bit on the left here, so. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's pretty slippery. Yeah, it's quite muddy. I mean, <laughs> this is the last stop of my trip. 
to Quebec and uh, we got rain basically every 48 hours and heavy rain so obviously the trail network is not usually this wet at this time of the year but this uh, this has been special yeah <laughs> sure is it's incredible there's so much water here on to the double drop Nice. Always better to look at features first. Wow, that was rough. Oh wow, what? Yeah, this is where we're all right. No way. Yeah man, look at that. The trail's right there. That's crazy. This is beautiful and there's a lot of water today so it's really nice. Yeah. Let's do it, river ride. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, dude. Yeah, look at the scenery. <laughs> that's uh, pretty special. Yeah. I've never ridden an actual trail that uses a riverbed to get down. And we're all over the riverbed. Yeah, we crossed it. That's amazing. That was fun, right? And look at it down here. It goes straight down. You don't want to go straight. No, for sure. <laughs> Let's finish it up. Let's finish the legend. Whoa. Whoa. I thought I had a good line, but Sandy had a better line. Hey, how are you? Bonjour. Ça va, merci. Français, ouais. Man, that was cool. That was it. I did a pretty cool gap, yeah. but when I landed, you took off for another one, and that really surprised me. And I landed like straight onto a sharp rock. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey. Thank you for checking out my video from Valley Bras du Nord. I had an unreal time in Quebec. Huge shout out to Quebec City Mountain Bike for making this trip so memorable. And make sure you watch out the five episodes I've done. Actually, there is one more dropping next week from Sentier du Moulin. First time I went, we had a bit of bad weather. So I came back, rode some new trail. It was epic. And also, this is the all new Cash Anorak from Seven Mesh. It's part of the Airmap collection. It just dropped today. So check out the link in the description. See you next week.